Oh my God. Woo. Wow. It is scarier on the way back down. That is for sure. I am heading to Mount Lemon in Tucson. So I'm feeling super burnt out and I've been getting a lot of signs to just like take a day off. So I'm super excited. And I got a tripod for my iPhone, which I'm super excited about. Been wanting a tripod for so long and they're nowhere to be found. So I got one. Oh yeah, I got one. Oh my God. Look at those freaking houses. Already, I'm just like, wow, this is incredible. All right, I'm gonna show you guys some of the scenery driving up, and here we go. All right, I'm up here at the Vista Point, Babad Doag, which means Frog Mountain. So this is Frog Mountain Vista Point. And you can see, I mean, I haven't even traveled probably a mile up the mountain and this is the view <laughs> so far. So it's absolutely incredible. This is exactly what I needed today, for sure. All right, let's keep going up the mountain. Okay, so I just stopped at another Vista point, Melino Canyon Vista. And dude, just driving up this mountain, I'm having some major, major breakthroughs. Um, burning myself out doing Instacart because that is my primary source of income right now. <clears throat> and it's it's tiring the drive to work online is more now than it it has ever been before and like i said i would always tell myself like i'm not good enough to work online like i don't have the skills to work online um but i but i know that i do and i know that that is just a story that i'm telling myself to hold myself back from living my full potential <sighs> i just need to start getting this all out in my channel i've done things that i never thought i could do and i figured out a way to do it so for me to think that i would not be able to generate enough income to sustain myself where i don't have to be working for instacart is it's actually insane honestly because so many people are doing it. There is no reason that I can't do it. Um, there's no reason I can't do it. So, but yeah, I'm having some major break breakthroughs today. But I, I want to document this because I'm tired of not documenting my life. And if. If anything that um, I'm saying or doing, even if it's for my future self to look back on, be like, wow, I remember when I had that realization. I remember when I had that and now I'm working full time online and I'm living in friggin' Bali. Today was a really bad day to wear high heels, but we're doing it. Whoa, oh my God. <laughs> Don't wanna trip. sun just depletes you of electrolytes so you have to you have to rehydrate with those it's very important Hey guys, 
so I've been really, really trying not to stop at every single pull off I get to, but it's so hard. Another weird thing, um, does anybody know why the moon is out at 1.42 p.m.? Just wondering. I thought that was a little odd. But, yeah. Yeah, this is really beautiful. I've, I have 30 more minutes of driving before I reach the top. I think so far I'm at an elevation of like 6,000 feet. The top of Mount Lemmon is 9,000 something feet. Oh, no, I'm at elevation 7,000, okay. Yeah, it's really beautiful up here. Lots of bikers, lots of trees, which is weird. There are no trees in Tucson. Highly recommend you checking out Conorondo National Park. And now I'm going to show you my drive up the mountain. If you would like to skip ahead, you can do so now.
cleaning out their pans or something? I don't know. Wow, dude. What the? I'm at 8,000 feet. Look at that. I'm gonna pull over in a second here, but oh my god. Alright, I have reached the very top as far as I can go. I am at the Mount Lemon ski area. Pretty freaking awesome. Are there people using the chairlifts? What? Can I do that? I want to do that. Oh. All right, I'm doing it. I am at the ski area. I just got a hot chocolate and I am about to go on the ski lift because I feel like being a little kid today. So let's go. Right. I just got on the lift. And I'm gonna try to not drop my phone. It's really cool up here. Like, it's really, really cool. Look at that. Going all the way to the top. And uh, the guy said that it's like 30 degrees cooler up there. <laughs> so, yeah, this is so awesome. Uh, yeah, we're doing it. Got my hot chocolate and warming my legs and warming my hands. I think it, I can't see, but I know I'm getting some good stuff behind me. Yeah. Okay, so I can finally kind of take my glasses off. And yeah, it's, so I'm at 10, where do I look? Look right there. I'm at 10,000 feet and I'm going higher even if you can see. Check that out. I'm going to the top, circling back around. You would normally be able to get off and walk around up here, but they're not allowing people to do that right now for some reason, which really sucks because I would love to check it out. I feel like a little kid right now. Like this is awesome. It's a little scary, but uh, yeah, the view is so cool. It's amazing. I had no idea, where do I look? Okay, here. I had no idea this was up here. So this was like a super awesome surprise. And yeah, like I said, it took me about an hour and a half to make it all the way to the top I'm driving, but totally worth it. So if anybody is in the Tucson area driving through, you have to make the drive up Mount Lemmon because it's incredible. Oh, and do the ski lift for sure. Finally made it to the top. I made it to the top. awesome experience but I'm not gonna lie I cannot feel my hands which was the sacrifice I was willing to make because I wanted to get this footage and I got it well they both got gloves well they're smart I did not I can barely feel my hands You're smart, you're wearing gloves. <laughs> I have socks on. <laughs> I wish I would have done that. <laughs> oh no, I have low battery. Oh no. It was worth it. It was totally worth it.
I'm heading in the right direction with my life. I'm going to figure out what I need to do to start my business and how I can start, just start making some income online because this is not working. She's not, dude, I look so tired right now. 